Joanna Penn from the Creative Pen and I'm here at the London Book Fair. It is a miserable day. It is uh, cloudy and raining and stormy and windy and that's a bit about uh, publishing at the moment but it should be an exciting time. So hi Jesse, tell us uh, a bit about you and what you think of the book fair. Hi Joanna, uh, I'm Jesse from uh, The Joy of English, I'm a UK author living here and I've come to the book fair for the third time in a row this uh, year, uh, 2012 and I think the thing that really hammers at home when you come to the, to the book fair is just how many publishers there are, how many books there are, there are more books than you can imagine. Going into a bookshop, you know, it's not, it doesn't scratch it uh, compared with when you come to the London Book Fair. Uh, there are, you know, just, just realising how, how many publishers, big and small, you know, all competing for our book buying, uh, you know, dollars and yen and cents and, and pounds. Um, and then the other thing is just how many books there are. Every book has an author, you know, mm. behind it. And when you mm. put that in perspective, it's just quite mind-blowing, mm. you know, coming here and just puts it a little bit in perspective, I think, how, how big the market is, but also how many fish, so-called, there are in, the, in the sea, yeah. In the sea. And do you get any impression of how publishing is changing from this, uh, this year, since you've been so many times? Is there more digital? There's definitely, uh, just over here to our right, uh, there's a big uh, digital zone. Uh, it's definitely grown larger from last year, I can uh, tell you that. Uh, but there's definitely a lot more focus on, you know, the Kobos, the Nooks, the, the Amazon uh, Kindles. There was a big presentation from uh, the... It was a Kindle, uh, KDP, whatever it stands for, uh, <laughs> you know, and it's just putting it home that there, there, is a, there is a kind of ground shift, I think. about yourself and what you're enjoying about the book fair. Hi there, my name is Ben Galley. Uh, I'm the author of the Eminesca series, which is an epic fantasy trilogy. Um, I'm loving the book fair at the moment. It's really good to have everyone in the, uh, one place. It's really interesting people so far. Um, it's really good in terms of an author just because it gets so many different uh, companies together with so many different facets of publishing. Um, you know, everything from apps, uh, publicity, the actual publishing to translation, everything. So there's loads of different things to, uh, to explore. here today because we are launching the Alliance of Independent Authors and uh, we launched it. Yeah, we launched Yay. it. It's here. <laughs> it is now in the world. And how did it go, do you think? I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. We had... Brilliant. Um, <laughs> Brilliant. <Yeah. laughs> we had a great group of authors talking about why they went indie and how they went indie. We had some of some key associates, Amazon, Kobo and Blurb talking about how important self-publishers are to their business um, plans. We had fantastic chairs like Joanna Penn <laughs> and Sam Missingham doing a really great job and we had just a bunch of really really nice people and we had some good talk about books and reading and all of that so it was great. Why should people join the Alliance? <laughs> but essentially it comes down to collaboration, company, getting together, contacts, learning how to do it from each other, writers together working for each other, also promoting excellence, getting better at what we do, engaging with effort to become better and better reasons to join it's good in here yeah, it is and I've had a fantastic time so I know you're exhausted but what are you excited about in terms of indie I'm excited because we're here today in the heart of, of London Book Fair and um, the first time I came here was as a literary agent and there were almost no writers here except celebrity writers or else writers who had kind of wandered in by mistake thinking there was something there for them but everybody was too busy doing business to even look their way. Today for the first time we've, we have a group of people who are here because they are writers and uh, to me while it was it seems like a small thing it's actually a measure of a huge huge shift and um, you know I'm just excited about that shift I'm delighted to be part of it I really want to, us as the Alliance to be right in the heart of it you know riding that wave and helping to make it something really positive I'm very excited about the creative possibilities more than anything else for me you know we are going to see very interesting things done with the written word in the next 10 years and self-publishers are going to be leading the way
Okay, so I am just leaving the book fair after a couple of days of workshops, of meeting people, meetings. Um, it's actually been fantastic. I've really enjoyed the book fair and, uh, you know, I, I really encourage authors to think about coming another time, especially if you're an independent author. There are so many things going on at the book fair, I think, that are interesting. First of all, I think when I walked in, I felt quite intimidated by the very large stands of the big six publishers. Um, there was a lot of big brand name authors in huge billboard size, you know, J.K. Rowling and uh, the altar to Rowling as it became known. Um, but there was also a lot of, of stuff going on around the fringes that was actually probably more interesting um, in terms of uh, various technology companies. The digital area was brilliant. Um, hearing some really interesting talks by Kobo, um, talking to people at the KDP store, talking to Amazon Publishing. Um, yeah, it was just brilliant. There were all kinds of, of, of fascinating uh, things that I, I went to. I also attended a rights workshop, which I think was the best uh, £130 I've, I've spent as, as an author uh, in terms of learning about the different rights that um, you know one can uh, express and, uh, and sell, maybe like translation rights I'm particularly interested in. Um, so it was fascinating to learn about those things. We also had the launch of the Alliance of Independent Authors, which was amazing, great panels, great discussion, and lots of authors who are keen to do interesting things with creativity. With books that may or may not be um, sort of accepted by traditional publishing but also just authors who want to make their own way, entrepreneurs I guess, uh, who want to do that. I also met a whole load of really interesting people at the fair, people on the stands but also other authors, publishers, people doing interesting things. So sometimes we need to get offline and actually go to events and meet people in the flesh. Um, so it's been great to network as well, fascinating time. So yeah, so I've really enjoyed London Book Fair and uh, perhaps I'll see you next year. Thanks, I'm Joanna Penn from thecreativepen.com.